how's everybody doing today? Today, I wanted to show off some of the stuff I got kind of recent that I count as Christmas. Like, either if it was stuff I bought myself for Christmas or stuff people gave me. And I never mind if I get a whole lot. I mean, I'd rather get something I just really want than getting a lot of stuff, really. Especially now when I just, I don't really have a, enough room for, you know, I'm trying to go through stuff and all that. I just can't always have a lot of stuff anymore. And that's okay. Ooh. But first, let's see. Actually, what I want to, I think I'll start with this first. My brother-in-law got me this one other, either birthday or Christmas. I'm not completely. Mm, completely sure. I'm a little burpy from eating some spicy stuff. But it's this. It's like a survival bucket. Emergency food supply. 48 hour, four person kit, five meal varieties from Augustin Farms. And it usually has a buttermilk pancake mix, maple brown, sugar oatmeal, creamy chicken flavored rice macaroni and cheese and creamy potato soup but it's just kind of in a water safe tub these lids are like i got this off I'm like it's a bitch to get off like you're not careful you're breaking your fingers trying to open that because it's supposed to be sealed like really really good and i got that um i want to say i got it from like, I got stuff from my mom, my sister, and my brother-in-law at the same time. And stuff was either from my brother and well, my sister and her husband, or my mom. And that was from my sister and her husband. And they also got me this. It was a poopery master craftsman. Throw a monkey wrench into bathroom stench. That's just the package, because I have the bottles it over here too. Just looks like a, a toolbox. I'm not gonna really keep it other than like to show it off. Because the two little bottles are right here. That's pretty fancy on the back too. Oh I didn't read that on the back. It's got the same thing. Oh no the backs do say something different. Yeah you got a, a blue a more of a bluer one and more of a greener one. They look fancy, like super colognes. Don't use them as colognes. <laughs> Might break out or something. But the blue one, Spoopery Before You Go Toilet Spray Royal Flush Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Up to 100 uses. A great washroom scent for distinguished gents. Sometimes you have to raise the stakes to win the pot. Poopery Royal Flush is a pure blend of natural oils that eliminates bathroom order before it begins. So you always have an ace in the hole. And this one is trap a crap Cedar wood and citrus. And I've used both of these and... I don't know, they smell different, but also very similar. And this one on the box says, Never leave a trail. An order trapper for any crapper. It's poo hunting season and you don't and you don't miss. Poo puri trap a crap is pure blend of oils that leaves the toilet smelling better than you found it. So you can trap bathroom odor before it begins. Oops. I thought they were pretty funny too, but it's useful because I like having toilet spray. Now, I got, I got food and snacks and stuff, but they're, like, meat and cheese and candies and stuff, but I've kind of eaten them all. The only thing left from that, really, is a sweet hot mustard. Classic tangy flavor. But it's okay. I'm just trying to figure out what it'd be the best on, because it, it tastes like uh, deviled eggs. And I'm not quite sure what to, like, would be the best to eat with that, really. Because deviled eggs, usually, you just eat. <laughs> Um, let's see. 
because I got a lot of uh, snacks and stuff from my mom. Oh, yeah, she got me uh, a bunch of... I'd never seen them other than on other people's channels and stuff, but they were Pokemon cards, the Trick or Trade Halloween ones. And somehow my mom found a lot of them. But I have a bunch of uh, hollows that I got from that. I'll probably try to do a separate, like, close-up video of, of all of them, because it'll just be a little easier than I have all the normal cards in here. I just think it'll be easier if I can, you know, show them. Not make this video long by, you know, showing every single thing. So I have a few more things to go through. Then I also got this for my family. It's Volume 1 of Fist of the North Star. It's a, a hardbound volume of the of the manga. It has some some color in it. It has it's, this isn't always the best thing to, to try to do. But some of the pages have full color or they have let's see. A few times it has just like brief color, like it's added red to it. That's a, it's a pretty violent, uh, manga. Let me see if I can find a really good one. Oh, shit. God damn it. Almost fucking tore a page. Oh, yeah, here's where it, it's just kind of got some red. Because I, I have some of the volumes in color. They were ones they specifically colorized. But I kind of like these ones that aren't. Because it... I don't know. I feel like you see a little bit more detail. Than you lose... Than if you lose with the color. Let's see. Oh, here's a guy get his head cut off. Oh yeah, this guy gets his head sliced into a bunch of pieces. What a really cool part, I'm trying to think where it is. Hmm. <laughs> Here's a scene that looks very much from... A certain JoJo's Bizarre Adventure scene with the staircase. <laughs> uh, parts where I'm just trying to think of where it is in the in the story. There's some really some really good ones. I saw some really good pages like when I was reading it and now it's one of those oh you can't find it now when you're trying to when you're trying to show it well that's kind of a good one too let's see find it again this guy smack this big guy smacks somebody and pretty much caves his head in <laughs> Anyway, let's show some more stuff off. I could go on all day with showing that off. I finally got this. I bought it myself on uh, Amazon. It's Black Adder Remastered, the Ultimate Edition. It has everything about it. And I've always wanted this. And it's usually, you know, like $100 or, or more. And I got it for, let's see... 20 something. I can't remember how close to 30 it was. But yeah, it has all the series, brand new audio commentaries, rides again, extended interviews, costumes revisited, plus a bunch of the specials Christmas Carol, The Cavalier Years, Back and Forth, uh, Baldrick's Video Diary, and other stuff. 
Which is weird is, like, I know there's, I think, a couple people called Baldrick, but it's like, how do you have a video commentary when most of these, like, generations weren't where there's technology? <laughs> I mean, maybe in, like, um, the war ones. But, yeah, I'm really glad to have this now. To have the whole set. Okay. And I got some He-Man guys that I really wanted that I that I bought myself. I got the Masterverse. Um, what's it? What's called Masterverse now? What uh, Revelations? There we go. Masterverse was the later Revelations one, but I've always wanted a Scareglow, and the Origins one is really expensive. And I got this one for a good price. It has a nice cloth cape and a, a big pole arm. I can't remember exactly what these are called. And his head glows in the dark. I really like finally having a, a scare glow. I have a bunch of dark parts here. Because I got a lot of uh, interchangeable heads and stuff. And then I also got him on Amazon too. And then I got the the two pack of of early trap jaw and and keldor which you can turn him into skeletor it's a shame you can't uh, swap his head and turn him into trap jaw but trap jaw the normal one of him is pretty expensive of these origin ones but yeah i was finally glad to have um because i've never had a proper he-man or skeletor my he-Man is a thrifted one, so I've never had a power sword or even the bad power sword or anything. And then, of course, I needed to get... I got the deluxe uh, battle armor He-Man. He just happens to be holding Skeletor's sword, too. But... I really like the, the deluxe sets, too, so... I've been kind of aiming for some of those for a lot of the figures. Uh, over some of the, the basic ones. Except for I really wanted basic Skeletor. You know, for his, you know, power sword and stuff. Plus, since this one's very, like, special and has its own, you know, certain Skeletor head that's darker. I wanted to have the basic one. So I can pretty much have both Keldor and Skeletor be separate. Because even though they're the same, they're very different. Like Skeletor has this kind of bicep arm. And he has like uh, bracers. And their feet are, of course, they're either clawed or not clawed. And I thought it was just a good idea to get... To get him too, so he's the only basic one I have so far. I want to show off all my... Uh... All my He-Man stuff. Oh, plus I did get... Oh, that's, that's what I almost forgot. I did get some other Sonic stuff. Some that I bought and uh, a friend of mine got too. Like, we both bought each other the... Like, when I was in the hospital, I got uh, Robotnik and his Eggmobile, which I have up here. And... He got one too, and then later on, when I got out of the hospital and stuff during, you know, during Christmas and and stuff like that, you know, after after that was all all done with, um, I got the the Death Egg Robotnik uh, robot, and I got me and him both that one, and it's on my desk too. Plan on showing those off. I just didn't know if I wanted to dishevel everything to try to. You know, pull them out to show them. Me and my friend Kyle went to see uh, the Megan movie at the theater when we were looking at shops and stuff. He got me this figure of Stain. He's one of my favorite villains. Pretty basic figure of him, but it's cool. Because now I have him and uh, Ida from My Hero Academia. Then one of the times I was at the library, I'd never had this movie any, 
either out of uh, the Kevin Smith movies. And I don't know why I just never, never got it, but it's uh, Chasing Amy. I think it's probably one of my favorite ones, really. And it, it just seems so weird that I've just never seen it. Like decades, you know, of having clerks and all rats and dogma and stuff like that. And I've just never had this one. But it's a great movie. Then, this I got from my sister, too. I just got it the other day, actually, because I ordered it from Japan. But it's Metabot 9. Uh, Kabuto version for the, the Japanese 3DS. It could take a little bit of explaining to, to talk about it, too, but... Because we got some Metabot stuff, you know, localized, but... This one and a bunch of other... Because as you can see, this is nine. We did not get nine games. We got, I think... Two. <laughs> and like a... The cartoon series. But yeah. So this doesn't get any longer. I can always elaborate on other stuff. You know, later on. But yeah. Let me know what you liked. I mean, I know a lot of people like... The He-Man stuff, and Black Adder, and stuff like that. But, yeah. Let me know what you think is the coolest. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.